Raelism, also known as Raelianism or the Raelian movement, is a UFO religion that was founded in 1974 by Claude Vorilhon, b. 1946, now known as Rael. The Raelian movement teaches that life on Earth was scientifically created by a species of humanoid extraterrestrials, which they called the Elohim. Members of this species appeared human when having personal contacts with the descendants of the humans that they made. They purposefully misinformed early humanity that they were angels, cherubim, or gods. Raelians believe that messengers, or prophets, of the Elohim include Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad and others who informed humans of each era. The founder of Raelism received the final message of the Elohim and that its purpose is to inform the world about Elohim and that if humans become aware and peaceful enough, they wish to be welcomed by them. The Raelian Church has a quasi-clerical structure of seven levels. Joining the movement requires an official apostasy from other religions. Raelian ethics include striving for world peace, sharing, democracy and nonviolence. Rael founded Clonaid originally Valiant Venture Limited Corporation in 1997, but then handed it over to a Raelian bishop, Bridget Boiselia in 2000. In 2002 the company said that an American woman underwent a standard cloning procedure that led to the birth of her daughter, Eve B., 26 December 2002. Although few believe the claim, it nonetheless attracted national authorities and the mainstream media to look further into the Raelians' cult status. The Raelians frequently claim the swastika as a symbol of peace, which halted Raelian requests for territory in Israel, and later Lebanon, for establishing an embassy for extraterrestrials. The religion also uses the swastika embedded on the Star of David. Between 1991 and 2007, this symbol was often replaced by a variant star and swirl symbol in an attempt to improve public relations, particularly with Israel. History The beginnings of Raelism are rooted in the experiences of a French former automobile journalist and race car driver Claude Vorilhon. In his books The Book Which Tells the Truth and Extraterrestrials Took Me to Their Planet Vorilhon had alien encounters with beings who gave him knowledge of the origins of all major religions. The movement traces its beginnings to a conference in Paris, France of 2,000 people in 1974. From there, the MADECH organization was born. The name MADECH is a double acronym in the French language, it stands both for Movement for the Welcoming of the Elohim, Creators of Humanity, Movement pour l'Acuille des Elohim, Creators de Luminite, and for Moses preceded Elijah and the Christ. Moïse Devens Ely et le Christ. By 1976, Claude Vorilhon called Rail transformed MADECH into the International Raelian Movement. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Demographics. From 1980 to 1992, Rail and his movement became increasingly global. In 1980 Claude Rael's fifth Raelian book Sensual Meditation was published and formal publication of the Raelian messages in the Japanese language began as part of the Raelian mission to Japan. Two years later, Africa became another target area in the mission to spread the Raelian messages. On the 26th of December 2002, Bridget Boiselia, a Raelian bishop and CEO of a biotechnology company called Clonade, announced the birth of baby Eve, supposedly the first ever human clone. The announcement ignited much media attention, ethical debate, doubt, criticism, and claims of a hoax. Spokespeople for the movement, including Claude Vorilhon, have suggested that this is one of the first steps in achieving a more important agenda. They say that through cloning they can combine an accelerated growth process with some form of mind transfer, and in such, may achieve eternal life. <laughs> <laughs> Member hierarchy The structure of the Raelian Church is hierarchical, with seven levels ascending from level 0 to level 6. The top four levels consist of guides. The level 6 guide, known as the 
Guide of Guides has the final say on who becomes a level 5 bishop guide or a level 4 priest guide. Bishops and priests promote lower level members one level at a time during annual seminars. Each bishop or priest can propose a new guide as long as the candidate is from a level below their own. Guides can assist regional guides level 3 and above in their assigning of non-guide members to levels 3 assistant priests 2 organizers and 1 assistant organizers members of the Raelian structure begin as level 0 trainees during annual seminars the Raelian structure said in 2007 to have about 2300 members 170 Raelian guides and 41 bishops Claude Vorilhon has held the highest position for three seven-year terms. <laughs> Women-only groups Women make up only a third of the membership in the Raelian Church, though two anecdotes in the Raelian Contact newsletter report female majorities joining the movement's Asian Mongolian chapter. Women such as Bridget Boiselia, the chief executive officer of Clonaid, play a powerful role in the Raelian Church. There are two major groups of women in the Raelian Church. The Order of Angels, founded in the 1990s, consists of over a hundred Raelian women who call for femininity and refinement for all of humanity. The initiation rites include declaring an oath or making a contract in which one agrees to become defender of the Raelian ideology and its founder Rael. The Order of Angels has its own hierarchy of Rose Angels and White Angels, which, as of 2003, are 6 and 160 women, respectively. After the Clonade human cloning announcement made the headlines, the Daily Telegraph wrote that members of the order not only provided sexual pleasure for rail, but also helped donate eggs for efforts towards human cloning. A few days later, Time magazine wrote that French chemist Bridget Boiselia was an Order of Angels member. Around this time, cult specialist Mike Croveld called the Order of Angels, one of the most transparent movements. He had witnessed, though he was alarmed by the women's promise to defend Rail's life with their own bodies, Rail has instructed some women members to play a pro-sex feminist role in the Raelian Church. Rail's Girls is another group of women in the movement which are against the suppression of feminine acts of pleasure, including sexual intercourse with men or women. Rail's Girls solely consists of women who work in the sex industry. The women of Rails Girls say there is no reason to repent for performing striptease or being a prostitute. This organization was set up to support the choice of the women who are working in the sex industry. Rails Girls and its founder Rail were featured in a pictorial in the October 2004 issue of Playboy. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Rights and Practices. Initiation <inaudible> <inaudible> Ceremony The major initiation rite in the Raelian Church is the «baptism» or «transmission of the cellular plan» and is performed by upper-level members in the Raelian clergy known as guides. In 1979, Rail introduced the Act of apostasy, as an obligation for those preparing for their Raelian baptism. The Raelian baptism is known as transmission of the cellular plan, where cellular refers to the organic cells of the body and the plan refers to the genetic makeup of the individual. This Raelian baptism involves a guide member laying water onto the forehead of the new member. The practice began on the first Sunday in April of 1976 when Rail baptized 40 Raelians. Raelians believe that their genetic information is recorded by a remote computer and would become recognized during their final hour when they will be judged by the extraterrestrial Elohim. <laughs> <laughs> Ceremonial dates 
Baptisms can only be performed on four special days in the year. The dates mark anniversaries in the Raelian calendar. The dates are the 6th of August, which marks the anniversary of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima in 1945, the 13th of December, marking the day that Rael in 1973 says he had his first personal encounter with one of the extraterrestrial Elohim, the 7th of October, in which the Elohim, Rael says, took him up in a spacecraft in 1975 and the following day had meals with Jesus, Buddha, and other past religious figures and the first Sunday in April, which Raelians believe is the date when dark-skinned extraterrestrials created Adam and Eve. <inaudible> <inaudible> Sensual meditation Sensual meditation is the set of exercises made public by Claude Vorilhon in his book La Meditation Sensuelle. It is practiced by members of International Raelian Movement the first of these exercises is usually taught in Raelian seminars. Other activities, outreach and advocacy Throughout the history of Raelism, members of the Raelian Church have toured public settings advocating masturbation, condoms and birth control. Raelians hope that genetically modified food and nanotechnology will allow humankind to eliminate the obligation to work. In a world that embraces science and technology, Raelians have founded Clonaid, a company that envisions that someday human beings can be scientifically recreated though a process of human cloning, and Clitorade, an organization whose mission is to oppose female genital mutilation. UFO exhibits Raelian structure members have set up exhibitions about their beliefs of extraterrestrial intelligent designers sending crop circles, UFOs, and spaceships for their arrival at an embassy. While there have been smaller meetings of Raelians and non-Raelians, annual Raelian seminars have been typically larger. Seminars Raelian structure members who run the seminars have organized group exercises involving meditation with the senses. James R. Lewis, an authority on fringe religious movements, spoke of Raelians who practiced a Raelian exercise called sensual meditation and discovered, "...playing fields", where "...radical self-reconstruction", "...new forms of authority", and New modes of self relating were encouraged. Music has been a feature of large gatherings, where at night, Raelians have had multi ethnic cabaret performances. Seminarists have used colored bracelets to indicate whether they wanted to be alone, be in a couple, or simply meet people. On a yearly basis, Raelian members organize seminars that are often attractive to the sexually adventurous. News KNBC called the annual Raelian seminars a cross between a nudist camp and New Age retreat." A Spanish television agency reported Raelian men and women in cross-dressing plays. Activities such as observations of one's own genitals and masturbation with them disturbed Bridget McCann, a Calgary Sun reporter who entered one of the Raelian seminars. Susan J. Palmer said a French journalist went to a Raelian seminar in 1991 and taped couples having sexual intercourse in tents. These tapes gained widespread negative publicity with news stories that described these practices as perverted and a form of brainwashing. The tents were actually put up for the privacy of attendees who were sharing dormitories, and the person was ejected by the Raelians for misrepresentation of their so called research for the sake of sensationalism. So called infiltration is encouraged by the Raelians to clear up myths perpetrated by the media and rogue researchers. Topic. Activism Raelians routinely advocate sex-positive feminism and genetically modified food. They also have protested against wars and the Catholic Church. Pro-GMO, on 6 August 2003, the first day of Raelian Year 58R, a tech article on the USA Today newspaper mentions an unlikely ally. 
are the Monsanto Company, the Raelian Movement of Brazil. The movement gave vocal support in response to the company's support for genetically modified organisms particularly in their country. Brazilian farmers have been using Monsanto's genetically engineered soy plant as well as the Roundup herbicide to which it was artificially adapted. The Raelians spoke against the Brazilian government's ban on GMOs. Anti war. In 2006, about 30 Raelians, some topless, took part in an anti war demonstration in Seoul, Korea. In 2003, Raelians in white alien costumes bore signs bearing the message, No War. ET wants peace, too. To protest the 2003 invasion of Iraq, anti-Catholic, in 1992 Catholic schools in Montreal, Quebec, Canada objected to a proposed condom vending machine as contrary to their mission. In response, Raelian guides, in an event dubbed, Operation Condom, gave the Catholic students 10,000 condoms. The Commissioner of Catholic Schools for Montreal said they could do nothing to stop them. In July 2001, Raelians distributed leaflets on the streets of Italy and Switzerland protesting the existence of over a hundred child molesters among Roman Catholic clergy in France. They recommended that parents should not send their children to Catholic confession. The Episcopal Vicar of Geneva sued the Raelian Church for libel but did not win. The judge did not accept the charges for the reason that the Raelians were not attacking the whole of the Catholic Church. In October 2002, Raelians in a Canadian anti-clerical parade handed out Christian crosses to high school students. The students were invited to burn the crosses in a park not far from Montreal's Mount Royal and to sign letters of apostasy from the Roman Catholic Church. The Quebec Association of Bishops called this incitement to hatred and several school boards attempted to prevent their students from meeting Raelians. <laughs> Converts from other religions Raelians do not believe in a god or other deity, but in extraterrestrials. Former clergy of mainstream religions have joined the Raelian Church, especially in Quebec. The structure of the movement had promoted some of them to the level of priest or bishop due to extensive Bible training and teaching skills. Two ex Roman Catholic priests, Victor Legendre and Charles Evan Giroux, converted to Raelianism. A former bishop of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints LDS Church joined the Raelian movement so he could be openly gay. The Raelian, Mark Woodgate, stated that 8% of Raelians worldwide are former Latter-day Saints. Religiously mixed couples are common, especially with spouses who are Christians or Buddhists. <laughs> <laughs> Intentional controversy Susan J. Palmer, a sociologist from Canada, has studied the movement since 1987 and says the movement intentionally stirs a moderate level of controversy to maintain membership. For example, Rail and the group attempt to tie their views with topical matters, ranging from Tiger Woods promiscuity to strained relations in the Middle East, in regular online postings and press releases. This view is shared by Mike Croveld the executive director of an anti-cult organization with the name InfoCult, who says the controversy leads to criticism by both religious and non-religious people. Raelian organizers made deliberate attempts to shock, titillate, and capture the media's imagination. The book Yes to Human Cloning 2001 attracted media attention after its release, including segments on 2020 and 60 Minutes. Biophysicist Gregory Stock described the Raelian Clonade project as sufficiently quirky to command instant media attention. It has been estimated that the group received free publicity worth $500 million as a result of the Clonade announcement. Mark Hunt, a lawyer and politician who wished to clone his dead son with the help of the Clonade services, was overwhelmed by the volume of media attention and in an interview said that Clonade's chief executive had become a Press hog. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Beliefs. 
Theologian of new religious movements George D. Chrysides described the Raelian Church as being in an early developmental stage, and that their beliefs distance it from a dominant intellectual climate. Raelism says that all life on Earth, humans included, was created scientifically by Elohim, members of an extraterrestrial race who appeared similar to small humans and so were often depicted as angels, cherubs, or gods. Raelians, who are not monotheists, believe the correct historical meaning of the word Elohim is the plural sense, those who came from the sky. Belief in extraterrestrial Elohim play a central part in Clonade's offer of cloning services for homosexual and infertile couples who want a child cloned from a partner's DNA. Chryside states that Raelism is discernible from other UFO religions for its heavy support for physicalism and repudiation of supernaturalism. Susan J. Palmer, a social scholar who had long contacts with Raelians, associated epiphenomenalism with the belief in Raelism that mind transfer coupled with human cloning can implant mind and personality into a new and disease-free body. Raelians publicly deny the existence of the ethereal soul and a supernatural god, but they believe that humanity for many generations past will be resurrected, albeit in a scientific way. Raelians believe that throughout the ages, members of the Elohim civilization sent different prophets, including Moses, Jesus, Buddha, and many others whose role was to guide humanity and to prepare humans for the future, all of whom were created as a result of a sexual union between a human woman and one of the Elohim. To Raelians, this was possible because the Elohim had advanced DNA synthesis and genetic engineering. The Elohim later reduced the frequent visits so that humans were largely left to progress on their own, until the time of the Apocalypse, Revelation when they would send their final messenger and disclose themselves at an extraterrestrial embassy, establishing political and economic ties. Raelians believe that sex is a normal, natural and healthy part of life and encourage people to be true to their natural sexuality. They promote healing from damaging messages from strict puritanical belief systems and social stigmas that stifle one's natural sexuality. Acceptance of masturbation, homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, naturism and any legal, safe and consensual adult activity is promoted as part of a healthy and long life, and this is used to attract young converts to the religion. Raelians believe that sexuality is a gift of pleasure to mankind from the Elohim. The Raelian book Let's Welcome Our Fathers from Space says that new advanced extraterrestrial civilizations will ultimately practice a final religion or religion of the infinite that involves ubiquitous practice of sensual meditation. According to Giancarlo Genta and Jason Colavito, writers who have influenced Raelian beliefs include Zechariah Sitchin and Eric von Daniken. Voluntarism <inaudible> <inaudible> Raelians are encouraged to do as they feel right, whether that matches the rules of the culture in which they live or not. According to Susan J. Palmer, a majority of loosely affiliated Raelian movement members have often strayed from following rules concerning diet, drugs, and sexual activity, as described in the Raelian books. Sometimes, they will not attend monthly meetings or pay a tithe in proportion to their income. Only the more committed members who do follow such rules can remain in the movement structure. According to Michel Belouet, the former director of a Raelian built museum called Ufoland, the only pressure exerted on members is to attend annual Raelian seminars, which allows members convinced of Rail's enthusiasm to voluntarily tithe. Palmer cited Rail, who said that more than 60% of the Raelian movement's members do not tithe. Dawson College students conducted a survey of the membership in Canada in 1991 which found that only one-third of respondents tithed. <laughs> <laughs> Human cloning As opposed to the scientific definition of reproductive cloning which is simply the creation of a genetically identical living thing, Raelians seek to both genetically clone individuals, rapidly accelerate growth of the clone to adulthood through a process like guided self-assembly of rapidly expanded cells or even nanotechnology and then transfer the mind and personality of the donor into the clone. 
Raelians believe humanity can attain eternal life through the science of cloning. Claude Vorilhon told lawmakers that banning the development of human cloning was comparable to outlawing medical advances such as antibiotics, blood transfusions, and vaccines. Topic: <laughs> Clonade. Rail founded Valiant Venture Limited Corporation in 1997 to research human cloning. The company name was later changed to Clonade and handed over to Raelian Bishop Bridget Boiselier in 2000. In 2002, Boiselier, as chief executive of Clonade, said that a human baby was conceived through cloning technology. Around this time, Clonade's subsidiary Biofusion Tech said it possessed a cell fusion device that assisted the cloning of human embryos. The Vatican said that experimenters expressed brutal mentality for attempting to clone human beings. Pope John Paul II criticized the experiment which he believes threatens the dignity of human life. In response, the leader of the Raelian Church dismissed the Pope's ethical concerns, calling them an accumulation of religious prejudices." In response to Rail's association with Clonade, South Korean immigration authorities at the airport denied him entry into their country in 2003. This decision led to the quick cancellation of the planned Raelian seminar which 700 registered for. Raelians of South Korea were instructed by Rail to protest near the Ministry of Health and Welfare that ordered him to leave. Officials detained Rail for nine hours at Incheon International Airport before he and his wife Sophie de Niverville left for Tokyo from where they took another plane on their way back to Canada. Rail responded by saying that Korean officials treated him like a North Korean and that he would wait for an apology before coming back to Korea. Ethics <laughs> <laughs> Topic: LGBT issues. The Raelian movement defends the rights and freedoms of gays and lesbians, recognizes gay marriage, and ordains gay clergy. Some Raelian leaders have performed licensed same-sex marriages. Topic: <laughs> Sensuality and pleasure. According to the book Maitreya by Claude Vorilhon, love involves experiencing different varieties and possibilities that allow one to break habits in order to make life more pleasant and interesting and that it is the only thing which can stop war and injustice that persists in today's world. Raelians believe in the right to form new religions or new political parties as long as they do not promote violence. As individualists, Raelians believe that the one who gives the order to harm others is less at fault than the one who executes it. Raelians say they encourage adult homosexual, bisexual, and heterosexual relationships and that society should recognize them legally. Some Swiss government authorities responded to Raelians' views about sensual meditation with a fear that Raelians are a threat to public morals for supporting liberalized sex education for children. They express the view that such liberalized sex education teaches youngsters how to obtain sexual gratification which would encourage sexual abuse of underage children. <laughs> <laughs> views on pedophilia Sexual predators and guides who force missionary ideas against members are excommunicated by the Raelian Church for a minimum of seven years the amount of time Raelians believe it takes for all of a person's biological cells to be regenerated. In 2006 Raelians in Los Angeles, California condemned acts of pedophilia, particularly those allegedly associated with Catholic priests, saying that celibate priests are denied the right to have sex. Authorities of the Swiss canton of Valais said that Raelians support a doctrine of complete sexual liberty and they denied an application by rail to live in their area. The website railianews.org said that sexual freedom between consenting adults in no way implies pedophilia. <laughs> <laughs> Structure of the universe 
Raelian cosmology is proposed in 1973 by Rael states that the observable universe has no creator and is infinite in time and finite in size and surrounded by infinite space. In Raelian cosmology, our observable universe is an atom of a much larger level of matter and possibly organism and subatomic particles in our bodies also possess universes like our own, but on a much smaller scale. This pattern, atom within universe within atom, is believed to be infinitely repetitive, from the infinitely small, to the infinitely large. The Raelian messages by Rael state that humanoid extraterrestrials, who were originally called under the name Elohim singular, Eloha, verified this cosmology scientifically, because of the difference of mass, the activity of life inside of a living thing's atoms would undergo many millennia before enough time passes for that living thing to take a single step. Raelians believe the universe is infinite in time and space and lacks a center. Because of this, one could not imagine where an ethereal soul would go. The Raelian cosmology is meditated upon during the fourth activity in the rite of sensual meditation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Intelligent design. Topic: <laughs> Creation of life on Earth by extraterrestrials In his book The Message Given to Me by Extraterrestrials now republished as Intelligent Design, Message from the Designers 2006 ISBN 2-940252-20-3, Claude Vorilhon says that on 13 December 1973, he found a spacecraft shaped like a flattened bell that landed inside Puy de la Solas, a volcano near the capital city of Auvergne. A 25,000-year-old human-like extraterrestrial inside the spacecraft named Yahweh said that Elohim was the name that primitive people of Earth called members of his extraterrestrial race—who were seen as those who came from the sky. Yahweh explained that Earth was originally void of life, with thick clouds and shallow seas, but the Elohim came, broke apart the clouds, exposed the seas to sunlight, built a continent, and synthesized a global ecosystem. Solar astronomy, terraformation, nanotechnology, and genetic engineering allowed Elohim to adapt life to Earth's thermal and chemical makeup. Yahweh gave materialistic explanations of the following The Garden of Eden, a large laboratory that was based on an artificially constructed continent. Noah's Ark, a spaceship that preserved DNA that was used to resurrect animals through cloning. The Tower of Babel, a rocket that was supposed to reach the Creator's planet. The Great Flood, the byproduct of a nuclear missile explosion that the Elohim sent. After tidal wave floods following the explosions receded, Elohim scattered the Israelites and had them speak the language of other tribes. According to Vorilhon, Elohim contacted about 40 people to act as their prophets on earth, including Moses, Elijah, Ezekiel, Buddha, John the Baptist, Jesus, Muhammad, and Joseph Smith. The religions thought to be from Elohimic origins include Judaism, Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, and Mormonism. From the Raelian point of view, religious texts indicate that the Elohim would return at the age of apocalypse or revelation, unveiling of the truth. Humans from another world would appear to drop down from the sky and meet in the embassy they have asked Rael to build for them and share their advanced scientific knowledge with humanity. Thus, one of the stated main goals of the Raelian movement is to inform as many people as possible about this extraterrestrial race. <laughs> Humanity's chance of creating life on other planets Raelians believe that humanity would be able to create life on other planets only if humanity is peaceful enough to stop war. In that case, humanity could travel the distances between stars and create life on another planet. Progress in terraforming, molecular biology, and cloning would enable these teams to create continents and life from scratch. Progress in social engineering would ensure that this creation would have a better chance of both surviving and having the potential to understand its creators. Research on how civilization would occur on another planet would allow scientists to decide what traces of their origin should be left behind so that their role in life creation would someday be revealed. 
The progress achieved by the science teams would ultimately sustain a perpetual chain of life. A coming judgment Raelians do not believe that an ethereal soul exists free of physical confinement. Raelians believe that advanced supercomputers of the Elohim are right now recording the memories and DNA of human beings. When Elohim release this information for the coming resurrection, people would be brought back from the dead and the judgments upon them would be realized based on actions in their past life. People excluded from physical recreation would include those who achieved nothing positive but were not evil. Vorilhon expressed an interest in cloning Adolf Hitler for war trials and retroactive punishment. Rail also mentioned cloning as the solution to terrorism by suicide attacks, as the perpetrators would not be able to escape punishment by killing themselves if the Elohim recreated them after their attacks. Topic. Embassy for extraterrestrials Raelians believe that life on Earth—as well as many religions of the world—was the work of extraterrestrials. They believe these were scientists and that ancient people saw them as gods and gave the name Elohim. Raelians believe that the Embassy for Extraterrestrials or Third Temple is to support an official contact with extraterrestrial Elohim and their messengers of the main religions at the New Jerusalem. The Raelian Embassy for Extraterrestrials is the vision of the international Raelian movement to establish an embassy, at a base cost of $20 million, with a landing pad that would serve as spaceport for extraterrestrial spaceships. Its location is intended to be in neutral territory, preferably Jerusalem, and would be surrounded by acres of campground capable of supporting about 144,000 people or more than twice the estimated Raelian membership as of 2005. On the 16th of April 1987, the Chicago Sun-Times estimated the funding for the Cosmic Kibbutz at $1 million. In 1997-1998, the funding had risen to $7 million. By 2001, $9 million had been saved for the embassy, and in October 2001, the funding had reached $20 million. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proposed architecture and location. The international Raelian movement envisions having an entrance with an aseptic chamber leading to a conference room for 21 people as well as a dining room of the same capacity. In the plan are seven rooms for the purpose of receiving human guests into the embassy. The embassy building, along with the swimming pool, would be in the center of a large park and protected from trespassing by a wall—a maximum of two stories—to surround the entire complex's circumference. Trees and bushes are to be planted in the outskirts of the walls area. The walls are to have a northern and southern entrance. The landing pad for the embassy should be able to fit a spaceship of 12 meters of diameter or 39 feet 4 inches on its terrace. The terrace is to be above the rooms in the Taurus, which are for extraterrestrials only. The seven rooms directly underneath the landing pad would be protected from occupants of other rooms with a thick metal door. Finally, the International Raelian Movement wants to avoid military and radar surveillance of the airspace above the embassy. Buildings for administration, food and water provisions, and state-of-the-art sanitation and communication systems are part of this vision. A nearby replica of the Raelian Embassy for extraterrestrials open to the public is expected to show visitors what it is like inside the real one. On the 13th of December 1997, the leader of the International Raelian Movement had decided to extend the possibility of building the embassy outside of Jerusalem and also allow that a significant portion of the embassy property be covered with water. The area of the proposed embassy property is still envisioned at a minimum of 3.47 square kilometers with a radius of at least 1.05 kilometers. Topic: <laughs> A form of meritocracy. 
In his book Geneocracy, Rail outlined his plan for a peaceful worldwide political union that, while democratic, would require members of the electorate to meet a minimum standard of intelligence. The thresholds proposed by the Raelians are 50% above average for a candidate and 10% above average for a voter. The world government would also have a global currency, a common language, and a transformation of militaries of the world into civil police. Raelians deride the current state system as inadequate for dealing with contemporary global issues that are typical of globalization, such as environmentalism, social justice, human rights, and the current economic system. In line with this, geneocracy proposes a different economic model called humanitarianism. Rail recommends a world government with 12 regions. Inhabitants would vote for which region they want to be part of. After the regions are defined, they are further divided into 12 sectors after the same principle of democracy is applied. While sectors of the same region are defined as having equal numbers of inhabitants, the regions themselves may have different levels of population, which would be proportional to its voting power. <laughs> <laughs> Status One current difficulty in the ideas of geneocracy is that the means of assessing intelligence are ill-defined. One idea offered by Rail in geneocracy is to have specialists such as psychologists, neurologists, ethnologists, etc., perfect or choose among existing ones, a series of tests that would define each person's level of intelligence. They should be designed to measure intellectual potential rather than accumulation of knowledge. The lack of scientific rigor necessary for inclusion of geneocracy as properly testable political ideology can be noted in number of modern and historical dictatorships as well as oligarchies. Because of the controversies surrounding geneocracy, Rail presents the idea as a classic utopia or provocative ideal and not necessarily a model that humanity will follow. In Rail's book, Extraterrestrials Took Me to Their Planet, Rail says that an extraterrestrial gave him the idea of economic humanitarianism. Under the establishment of economic humanitarianism, people would not have ownership of businesses or exploitable goods created by others. Instead, people would rent each of them for a period of 49 years. The founders would be able to receive the rents for up to 49 years or when they die, whichever is later. Any rents not inherited by relatives after 49 years would go to the state. By balancing inheritances, children would be born with enough financial means to forsake menial tasks for endeavors that may benefit the whole of humanity. Family houses could be inherited from generation to generation, free of rent. In his much later book, Maitreya, Rail says the road to a world without money is capitalism and globalization, as opposed to communism. Capitalism would allow those who contribute much to society to also contribute to its scientific and technological development. Under capitalism, society would produce as much money as it can. The money would become important in the short run as nanotechnology quickly lowers the cost of goods while putting many people out of work. Religious symbol Raelians believe in reclaiming the swastika by restoring its historical meaning as a symbol of peace and good luck. The swastika has been used for millennia in the East as a religious symbol of peace and harmony. In 1991, a Montreal anti-cult organization called InfoCult made statements against the Raelian Church with an article in Le Devoir, branding Raelians as promoters of fascism and racism, due to the Church's use of the swastika as part of their logo and the Raelian description of an extraterrestrial global government in which those less than 10% above average intelligence are excluded from the electorate. Outside InfoCult's office, Raelians spoke against the act of discriminating against a religious minority. On 2 January 1992, a dozen people protested against the use of the swastika in the Raelian logo in Miami's Eden Rock Hotel. The use of the swastika and other Raelian practices has led to criticism from the group Hinani of Florida, an Orthodox Jewish organization. In February 1991, the Raelian Church modified their symbol. 
The official reason given was a request from the Elohim to change the symbol in order to help in negotiations with Israel for the building of the extraterrestrial embassy to greet the anticipated Elohim space vessels, although the country continued to deny their request. In 2005, the Israeli Raelian guide Kobe Drory stated that the Lebanese government was discussing proposals by the Raelian movement to build their interplanetary embassy in Lebanon. However, one condition was that the Raelians not display their logo on top of the building because it mixes a swastika and a Star of David. According to Drury, the Raelians involved declined this offer, as they wished to keep the symbol as it was. From 1991 to 2007, the official Raelian symbol in Europe and America did not have the original swastika, but Rael, founder and leader of the Raelian movement, decided to make the original symbol, the Star of David, intertwined with a swastika, the only official symbol of the Raelian movement worldwide. Topic reception. In 1995, a parliamentary commission issued a report through the National Assembly of France that categorized the Raelian movement, movement Raelian as a sect French word for cult, but did not give reasons for this classification. In 1997, a parliamentary inquiry commission issued a report through the Belgian Chamber of Representatives that categorized the Belgian Raelian movement, movement Raelian Belge as a sect. Glenn McGee, professor at the University of New Haven, stated that part of the sect is a cult while the other part is a commercial website that collects large sums of money from those interested in human cloning. The Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights, and Labor of the United States Department of State and sociologist Susan J. Palmer have classified the international Raelian movement as a religion. In 2005, two Wired News reporters were welcomed into a Raelian seminar and had permission to videotape it. They believe the footage they took makes it clear that the Raelian movement is a cult which should disband. A Raelian guide said in a Wired interview that he was not ashamed of what is shown and that he has no concerns about this incident. See also Ancient astronauts Corindo Raelian Temple New religious movement Nontheistic religions Notes <laughs>